Well hello there everybody and welcome to the latest video. Now if you remember in early February of this year there was the um, you know the GoldenEye XBLA um, leaked Xbox 360 version of GoldenEye that came out. Uh, just showing you a little bit of footage here it's really really cool um, and as I suspected um, there is now a community um, edition updater which is slowly patching things which weren't fully completed in the game and everything like that. Um, if you haven't downloaded and installed it and you haven't got the emulator configured, I've done a full guide on how to get this running. And if you start watching this video and you're not sure what I'm talking about in the beginning, just please go watch that video and um, you can have it set up within a few minutes. It shows you how to get the game for free, set the emulator up and everything. It's all good. I've also got um, a golden eye. 007 XBLA Discord server, which I'll also link down below. Um, that is for potential upcoming um, GoldenEye tournaments. Um, I'll link all my other GoldenEye guide videos as well, how to set it up to use mouse and keyboard. That should also work with the community updater and also 100% um, save files to unlock everything, all the maps um, for multiplayer and things like that. Yeah, it's all good. Also the guide on how to play it online as well. So I'm just going to link all that down below. Enough about that. So the first thing you want to do then is go to your um, Xenia emulator, which is right here for me. Yep, the Xenia emulator as shown in the um, in the guide video. And you should have this folder called Bean. Like I say, if you've not got this, Go to the guide video, I'll show you how to set it all up in that video, okay? So inside your bean folder, it will look like this. In the background, you can see I've got a website open. This is from N64 Vault. Link down below, of course. Um, and basically, you just go to this download page on this community edition updater. And this is the bit that you want to download right here, this file. One megabyte, okay? Just open it or save it, whatever. Um, and what you do is you open that up and um, basically where this bean folder is, just kind of put that side by side with your own folder and put these three files into here. You don't necessarily need to do the readme, that's just the install information. But from that zip, you just put them into your own bean folder, which is a GoldenEye 007 XBLA folder and run the updater. That is it. Just uh, wait for that to do. Once you've hit update right here and it um, doesn't take long. Bearing in mind, it does claim on there that it will be updated often. So if you're not sure, um, you know, when it's updated or anything like that, just, just run it. Look, it says uh, updated right there. So that's all good. Um, and just close that and as you can see it's added a load of files to your game okay so we'll go back to Xenia okay and open a file and obviously within this bean folder right here you've got your your default .xex is the standard game so you can still run the standard game um, or you can run the default um, community edition right there so run the default ce.xex okay and just wait for that to load up and as you'll see um, just right from the beginning um, let me just um, I'm not gonna fully full screen this but um, I am just gonna put it in like full window mode like so let me just turn the volume down it's kind of blasting out my TV a little bit it's gonna select mission and uh, uh, I don't know we'll pick damn everyone knows damn don't they okay and we'll just hit start um, if you notice the menu was fixed um, that's always a good start um, and there we go okay I'm just gonna like run through this okay um, one of the major changes that I've seen one of the major gripes that people had was that when you switch to um, the old graphics mode it was really really blurry I'll just cut in a bit of that footage for you right now um, and you'll see the difference okay <laughs> it's super blurry um, as you can see all the character models are looking a little bit sharper as well even in the old um, graphics mode um, the game just runs overall better and basically any of the missing textures um, things like that that you see kind of later in the game there's some little little bits and bobs in the multiplayer mode as well which aren't quite right like invisible walls where there shouldn't be and some doors are missing and things like that especially on the frigate level but all of that will apparently just get fixed in time I mean what kind of madness is that? What's not to love? Okay, well, I've shown you how to install it. It's as simple as that. Um, 
If you like this video, if it's helped you out, please, um, you know, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, join the Discord server as well. You might even meet people in there who want to play the game online with you, on your PC. Who would have thought it, eh? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's all from me then today. Um, I'll catch you all again real soon. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.